Welcome everyone, this is the first episode of Madman Craft. Now, this is going to hopefully be a weekly thing. Um, hopefully we will get weekly videos up, aiming for daily. The more thing is, I have terrible internet and it's already lagging on here, which you can tell. Now, I've been doing a bit of work on this already, just pre-work. Um, I have pr done a couple of episodes, but they're not very good, so we won't worry about them, just me mining and stuff. So what we'll do is we'll head to the house. Now, I've been playing on here for less than a week. Um, it's been probably four or five days. So what we're going to do in this just short episode, give everyone an idea of what, we're, what we've been doing, and um, we can go from there. Now, oh, I'm out, come on out. There we go. Oops, that was a terrible idea. Here's someone else. Now, this Let's Play is going to be based on the Tacoville Brocado website, which some of you may know as Logos. He owns the server. Um, should be a lot of fun. It's it's a good server. Um, the downside is I'm in Australia. Now, being in Australia, I get lag. Um, it's a way of life here. I'm used to it by now. Um, more effect is I've got to find my house. Always have trouble doing this. Oops, lag. Gotta love it. Um, there it is over there. So, always struggle with finding it on this server for some reason. But there it is. I'm Brad the Madman, as you can tell. So, let's get in to my place and we'll have a quick look. What I might even do. Look at that lag. It's almost killing me. Jeez. I don't usually get too much lag. Um, it's mainly just this one for some reason. So this is this is what you start with. What I might do is, okay, lag, gotta love it. Okay, let's get out of here. Come on, lag, lag. Okay, this is fun. Okay, we're out. Let's see what happens. I'm not sure why we're getting so much lag. Usually, like I said, don't get too much. Seems a bit better there. All right, what I will do is I will show you what a basic house looks like. Um, I think that's the best way to go about this. Um, as you can see, I'm in a swamp area, and picked a really good spot actually because it has a snow biome, a sand biome, which is just past this after this one, and on the other side there's a plains biome, which hopefully I can get horses. Now this is what a standard starting off looks like on this server. It's basically just four walls, a door. And the only modifications this one's had is obviously they've put an iron door on instead of a wooden door and they put a handle on it. So this is what you get. Basically just a roof. Sorry if this is someone on this f that does Minecraft as well. I notice I'm using their house as a demonstration but you haven't done anything to it so too bad. Four walls. That's it. So, I was not a wee farm but that, that's it. There's no nothing else done to it. So that's what you start off with. Now as you can see from here mine, mine's had a little bit of work done. Um, first thing I did was did a mob spawner. Now, the reason is trying to get arrows and and gunpowder and that, uh, just to start off with, just to help out a little bit. Um, mainly arrows to kill mobs under this new thing, the mobs are terrible. So as you can see it's only got two levels on it. Um, I have got the resources to put a third level on, but that will be in episode two. We'll do a little bit of a... Um, a little bit of a mob spawn build. Um, the water's there just so I can get up to the top. Um, it's coming out well. Look, it, it, it's a multiplayer server with people on. When the people are on, I don't get a lot of. Oh, jeez, that lags, but I don't get a lot of stuff out of it compared to, say, a single player one. Um, and also, it has two levels instead of maximum levels. Um, my single player one gets a stack of arrows every couple of hours. So, this is my house. I should start off up here. This is what I started off with. Obviously, I've added a lot to it. It was only probably to about oh, here, and I've added all this. Got some glass, and that made the door because it was just a nightmare with the lag and that. I've lit up a little bit of the area out there. Crafting table. There's the portal. All the fun stuff. Okay, so we go down the bottom. Obviously, I've done all this. Lots of trees cut down for this. Um, goes down to the mine. Um, had some luck down there. Got couple of stacks of iron, uh, got about 26 diamonds, which is good, uh, another arrow, uh, another door into here, where we've just got a bit of a storage shed. Now, it has, as you can see, not too shabby, plenty of stuff in here, found some nether quartz in the, in the, the nether. Um, this is where the mob spawner lands, down in here, um, 
that's all I've got out of it so far. Oh, a little bit more of gunpowder. That must have fallen last night when I was not paying attention. Just a couple of things there and iron. As you can see, we're under the river, straight underneath that. There it is there. I thought that looked pretty cool. Now, there's not much to this house. I won't, like I said, I only started. A um, little bit of a wheat farm. This is going to all be automated. It's going to come up in an upcoming episode, probably three, four, something around there, maybe. Depends what happens. Um, let's just get some food. Now, if you've seen up there, I've got a bit of a cow farm. It's It was lucky where I spawned. There was a heap of cows and that, so... And lucky enough is when I did some enchanting, I actually got a looting sword, a looting three diamond sword. Um, the diamond sword was actually a gift from someone, as I as I um, gave them some gold that I wasn't using. Um, got a couple of books I've been in there doing plenty of stone picks, uh, looting three. So on that one as well, um, been lucky with my enchants, which is good. So this is basically the design of the house. Um, it's gonna get bigger. I've got, I've got some blaze rods and that. There's a blaze farm on this on this service. I went and got some blaze rods. We're gonna build a um automated what do you wanna call it? Potion maker. Um that's coming up. What I'm gonna do is you're gonna come down this corridor, that way wheat farm, that way something else, go a few more steps, something else, branch off. It's gonna be all nice and big, might even go down maybe, I'm not I'm not sure yet. Um so yeah, that is Brad the Madman's house. Nothing exciting at all. Um, but it's not bad for less than a week playing on the server. Um, I've been lucky, like I said, I found stacks and stacks of ore, uh, iron ore, whatever you want to call it, um, and that. Plenty of redstone, which has been great. Um, arrows, got plenty of them out of the, the machine over there. Not a great deal, but that's enough. We've got buckets, a couple of buckets I found. I'm um, not sure why I found them. Uh, they were just there. Um, plenty of cobblestone, trees, glass. Uh, it, it just started. So what I've done is I've just started. Good thing is I actually got to sleepy the other day because I'm in Australia. No one else was on, so I slept in the bed. Um, that way when I die, comes back. And to be honest, I seem to be dying a lot lately. Why can't that work? Okay. Oh, there we go. We're lagging. That's why. Is it going to take me back in? No. Good. Alright, so down here, we have started a strip mine, nothing fancy, everyone knows what a strip mine is, if you don't know what a strip mine is, it's just basically straight lines that you dig. Um, over here we have some plains biome, over here obviously we've got snow biome, uh, over there we've got jungle, and if you keep going there's more jungle biome, which is pretty good, and we've got a bit of a swamp just over here that you've, that you've seen I'm in there. Um, cow farm, been good to me so far, um, it's got plenty of cows in it, which is good, no one's no one's come and taken any yet, which is even better. Um, surprised by that actually, because I've had a few people come in here and, and around. I figured someone might help themselves to some of it. Um, no one has yet, which is good, because to be honest, the way I've been going with food, I need it. So this is it. Um, only a short episode today. I don't think we're going to go too much more in depth. Um, we might just cut it off very soon. Um, and then what I might do is I might get started in building the mob spawner for episode number two. Well, not get started, I shouldn't say that. Uh, adding the other level, now I really actually want to do this in the daytime. I don't really want to die with all the resources on me. Um, all the resources are down here. If you want to have a look, I've kind of got a plane <laughs> set out where we want it. Look, looks like a piston with some sticky, 16 repeaters, and so on. So, it's all kind of set up to get it done. Actually, what I do need is cobblestone, maybe two, you can see you've got plenty of cobblestone, as everyone does from from doing it. Now that's going to be the roof, so you can't see it, because it's pretty expensive. Oh, that didn't work. Um, that was clever of you, Brad. Alright, there we go, so we'll take that off. Now, hopefully everything goes well. This, uh, this we want, like I said, at the start, we want we want to do daily uploads, but I don't see that happening because the place I'm living at currently just doesn't have internet. I'm actually using an iPad just to be on the server. It's probably one of the reasons I get a bit of lag. Um, I have been going to someone's house and uploading. If you want to see a tutorial on how to build the mob spawner, um, it's there. There's one actually up now. It's just for about 23 minutes, pretty in depth. Gives you an idea of how it works, what it can produce, and so on. It's it's a good one. Um, I like it. I, I got the design watching Aussie Dard um, build one, at, and they use it in an Ender farm. Now, it's not a bad design. I can't complain. 
So that's it. Um, we might cut it off there for episode one. I know there wasn't a lot achieved. Mainly wasn't really to be anything achieved. It was more of just an introduction to see to get to know, get to know me. Um, I need to fix that actually. Um, we'll do that tomorrow uh, when the day comes out. Oh, we have a slime, and I want to kill that slime. I think I have a sword on me. Sorry, I'm a huge fan of um, slime balls. Now, the main thing is, I do not... Nah, look, I'm going to get attacked if I go out there, so let's not go out there. I don't really feel like dying. Um, and you can see there's a zombie already on his way over here, so... Let's close this door up. And there he is. Look, he's coming. <laughs> I think I might have to go out there and light that area up a bit more, I think. That's okay. We can do that. Look at that slime. Jeez, that's annoying. I think they stay in the daytime as well, the slime, so we might go kill him after. Might actually go get my looting three sword. That might be a good idea. Because then we'll get extra. Um, open. Jeez, the lag's terrible. Um, I don't know if it's just my internet tonight. It could be. It's, it's not the best internet that I've said. Um, that's it. So we might cancel that here. Or well, not cancel. We might finish this here. I think that's a good idea. It's been good. Um, so everyone, like I said, this is Madman Craft. Welcome. Um, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you give it a like um, and subscribe. I would like to see some subscribers, it'd be nice. Um, and also, give it some thumbs ups, it, it would be good, just to see how it all goes. Oh, shouldn't do that, I'll rule my farm in a minute. Alright, well, um, everyone, have fun, and I will see you on episode 2 where we build the mob spawner. So, well not build, we put the next level on the mob spawner. So everyone, have fun, and um, I'll see you next episode. Bye.